There's a lot of colors. There's a lot of colors. Um, mainly these are from either Japan or Korea. Yeah. And then these are the vouchers I offer. And I also had a book made of all of the nails that I've done. I am a freelance hair, makeup, and nail artist. I've been a makeup artist since 2008. And I've been doing nails for, it'll be 10 years next year. But I haven't updated it, so I need to make a new one, I suppose. And I'm so glad I chose nails. I think it's one of the best things that ever happened to me. Um, I could show you my, the color wheels. That's probably quite fun for you. So these are, these are what are in the, the pots. So these are swatches of all the, like, the colors and the glitter I have. The combination of having a creative brief, being able to collaborate with people, helping people express themselves, making people feel good. There's also the element of tiny, tiny, tiny detail that I find, it is slightly masochistic, but I find it so satisfying. The nature of what I do is, is incredibly intimate. You know, I often joke that my job involves holding hands and touching faces and caressing hair <laughs> and that there isn't a little bit of an element of being a therapist because it's, it's quite one-on-one. -on -one. I really enjoy when clients come to me with references that don't exist on a nail already. In, in the past, I've gone, done like album covers, I've done specific paintings, I've done nails inspired by sculpture, I think the act of being able to see something and then translating it into 10 tiny canvases is really fun. I really enjoy the, the collaboration. The collaboration of what I do is really, really rewarding. Being able to do that for people is really cool. Yeah. I was like verbally assaulted by a stranger and I turned around and stood up for myself rather than you know, shying away and being all like, yes, you're right, you know. I had a shift in my attitude to it, and I turned around, I had, I was like, no, I look fabulous, what are you talking about? <laughs> Things changed a lot when I started um, shifting how I felt about my own body and about how I wanted to become my own inspiration. And I wanted to find the joy in dressing and expressing myself again. It's um, Cupid and Psyche. Um, and I asked her to uh, make them chubby. Because <laughs> I, I kind of think of both of them as me, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. So it's like yeah. I'm... Yeah, self-love. You talk that. You yeah. talk about that. Yeah, yeah. so it's about self-love. Tattoos have been a really big part in um, accepting my body as it is. I was always very self-conscious about my arms, and so that became, it became like a loving act to put art on my body in places that I didn't love as much as I do now. And I, it makes me love everything even more. So as a result, you know, I'm you know, breaking, breaking fashion rules for fat girls and looking for crop tops, you know, because I'm like, hey, I'm spent money or time and pain and experience in getting these markings on my body and I want to show them. I want to show them. And it's not necessarily in a, you know, in a, sh in a I want to show off my tattoos kind of way, but it's more of a, I am comfortable with how I am in my body right now as it is. And I'm not going to apologize for that. When I decided to change up what kind of media I was consuming, I started looking for people who had bodies that looked like mine. And that was really important to me. And then as a result, almost by accident, by finding all these fat creators and you know, fashion content makers, I was exposed to not only bodies that looked like mine, but also amazing brands that I wouldn't have heard of. While, while things are improving here, we've got fab plus size uh, brands like Lost and Led Astray with Sarah Jane. And I think Jason Lingard has extended sizes too. We've got Carpenter's Daughter. 
And there's a lot of like independent makers that are creating custom pieces because we have such a gap in the market for plus size brands. And I think the brand that I probably have the most of, and I think what I'm probably most known for wearing is Fashion Brand Company, which is what I'm wearing right now. I think my favorite part about that brand is that they they go up to they would go up to I think a five X and it's almost always silly. There's always some element of like, oh that's stupid, but like in a great way. <laughs>